Hi there! If you're watching this video right now, you'll probably have one of two responses. First, uh, who is this guy? Or second, why does this episode of For Fun Fly start this unusual? Well, it's all about making the world a less awful place than it is these days by sharing one uniform encouraging message throughout a lot of aviation YouTube channels. If you're in quarantine or self-isolation or just in a really bad place at the moment, I would like to say to you, you're not alone in this. To show you I'm not alone in spreading this message using the power of the aviation YouTube community, I asked a couple of other aviation YouTubers to say a couple of words of encouragement too. But before I hand over this video to the next YouTuber, I just want to say to you, I hope you and your family stay safe. This all will pass and hang in there. Oh, and Mikey, thanks for having me on your show yesterday. Hey guys, so it's Steve from Flight Shops here and I'm in the same spot you're in. We're kind of all in a holding pattern and I know it's easy to kind of get depressed at a time like this. We can't fly. Everybody's kind of locked down. A lot of us are in isolation, quarantine or just stuck in our houses not able to see friends, not able to see family, but this is a time to kind of reflect on what we could do to improve ourselves. I mean, I know I often complain about being too busy to get things done. It took me forever to get my instrument rating done because I was distracted by so many things. Now is definitely a time to hit the books, do some studying, do some self-improvement, make yourself a better pilot even when you can't fly. I mean, my sim here is kind of in pieces right now just because we're in the process of upgrading it to a G1000 setup, but I mean, this is definitely the time to use your sim if you've got one. Uh, you know, reach out social media or just other ways electronically to other pilot friends and compare notes, learn, improve, grow. There's a lot of cool constructive things we can do here while we're staying at home, being safe, and keeping the community safe by trying to slow down the spread of this virus and flatten the curve. But for now, we can do everything we can to get better. And uh, yeah, it's really cool, a bunch of YouTubers getting together in the flying community to try to share some positivity and some love and uh, just try to get better and stay happy. I don't know, it's tough. I feel ya. Hey guys, thanks for the invite onto this video, Yama, and all the For Fun Flyer fans, huge fan of the channel myself. And I'm Ben, I'm from Ben Learning to Fly. I'm sure I'm in the description somewhere below, but yeah, just a little, couple of words as I'm just starting my radio show here in the UK that coronavirus is something that there is light at the end of the tunnel and of course it's easy to forget that flying is just a hobby for most of us who enjoy it so much and I think we just need to think of the guys who it wasn't just a hobby it's actually a career so let's think of those guys and even then there is light at the end of the tunnel but stay safe and hopefully we can get through this together. Hi guys and a very welcome to Mentor. I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. So this is a video collaboration that I have done together with loads of other YouTubers out there and the, the point of this is to send hope and love to you guys. I know that there's a lot of you out there who are now feeling afraid, you're doubting your decision to go into the business, you don't know maybe where you're going to get your next paycheck from or how long this crisis is going to take. The point I want to make with this video is that we've been here before. I started my own aviation career in 2002, just about eight months after the uh, aircraft had flown into the Twin Towers. There was no chance of getting a job, but I managed to get a job. Right? And the aviation industry did what the aviation industry always does, is that it will be a few rough months or potentially even years after a major uh, crisis like this, but it always takes off. And the reason for that is because we, the human race, we persevere and we are curious beings. We want to continue to explore. We want to continue to meet new cultures and see new things. And with that comes air travel. And air travel has gone through crisis like 9-11, like the SARS outbreak, like the economical meltdown of 2008. And every single time there's been a little bit of a nudge in the, uh, the overall curve, but the curve has continued to go upwards. And that is what's going to happen this time as well. I'm absolutely sure of this. Right? It might feel like you've suddenly been dropped into a black cave, but that cave is not actually a cave, it is a tunnel. And at the end of that tunnel, you'll see a light. It might take a while to reach that light, but we will, together, if we show perseverance, if we show resilience, 
hard work and that we believe in each other and we support each other throughout this time, we will reach that light at the end of the tunnel very quickly. I'm perfectly sure about this. So guys, just hang in there and let's try to do whatever we can to help each other. Maybe you know someone that doesn't have trouble right now. Maybe it's the time to reach out to a good friend of yours. It doesn't need to be in the aviation industry. It could be to your grandfather or it could be to a friend of yours who just lost a job because of this. Make sure that we use this time now to utilize our best intentions as human beings. And I'm sure that we're going to get through this very quickly. Hi, friends of aviation. I'm Michael, a neurologist from Germany. So my channel's name is Hirnklempner. That means something like brain plumber. It's about microlight aviation and air rescue. It's a hard time for all of us. I wish you all stay healthy. I hope the people you love and your jobs are safe. And hopefully we will soon come back to the life we miss with security, prosperity, fun and much airtime. I'm looking forward to it. Take care of yourselves. And if there's someone beside us in heaven, God bless you. Stay optimistic and thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hey, it's Adam here from Private Pilot Vlogs in the UK. I hope you guys are well. I know it's really uncertain times, but we will get through this together. If you fancy a chat, please add me on Instagram at Private Pilot Vlogs, and I'd love to hear from you. We can talk about anything Private Pilot related, aviation, how to deal with a two year old. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Big shout out to all the key workers working around the world, whether you're a doctor, a nurse, working in the supermarket, or a pilot flying our cargo around. Um, thank you for everything you're doing for us. But you guys, stay safe, um, listen to the advice, and we'll see you very soon on the channel. Hi everyone, my name is Niels, I'm from Dutch Aviation Blog, uh, fellow aviator and friend of Jolmer. We are based at the same airport, Drachten Airport. I'm currently working on my uh, modular ATPL course. I just wanted to say uh, these are definitely some difficult times we're going through. Um, for flight training it's difficult, but you know, for every part of the aviation industry it's very difficult times. But let, let's not get our hopes down, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, we can get through this and we can get through this together. There were in the past of course many events that gave aviation a run for its money, but it always survived and always got out stronger. So definitely this time the same will happen. We will get out stronger and I'm sure that there will be some initiatives that will even help in this crisis. And first and foremost of course keeping our distances between each other, which is very important right now. Um, our elders build our countries for us. Uh, we owe them that much to keep them them safe from any potential deadly disease. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you again in the sky very soon. Hello everybody, my name is Pilot Frank. I come from Germany and yeah, we are currently in the biggest crisis after the Second World War. But this time have also good ones. The first one is the nature breathes and recovers. The second one is, we all have a little bit more time for us, for the family, for things we always want to do. Finally, the silent is not really empty or boring. The silent is full of answer. Thank you so much. All the best. See you. Hi, yeah. Uh, most of you probably don't know who I am, but my name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodo DR1050 out of a small farm strip on a hill in East Anglia. I'm very proud to be part of the worldwide YouTube aviation community and I'm pleased that in my own small way I've been able to upload 247 weekly videos to my channel. I do sincerely hope that you and your family are well. But we do know that this virus is a worldwide threat that we have to treat with major respect and to be careful and to be responsible. We are now facing new and unprecedented challenges of confinement and isolation. But by the sound of it, the worst is still to come. 
but remember that we are all in this together. Before I hand over to the next YouTuber, I'd just like to say that over the past few days, we've seen the best in people, and we've seen the worst in people. Now it's time to pull together, so that we can all beat this wretched virus and get back to the lives that we had so much taken for granted. Take care, stay safe, keep strong. Hi, my name is Klaus from the YouTube channel Skyfool. Uh, I fly micro lights and uh, do videos about the many tours I do in Germany with uh, friends or uh, other pilots from my club. At the moment our club is closed because of the restrictions here in Germany. Sports clubs are closed. The, the airfield is closed but there is really more there are really more important things in the world now than flying. I'm fortunate that I can work from home. I'm here on my rooftop uh, terrace and can enjoy the sun and the beginning of spring. So there will be an end of the situation and we all can go back to our loved planes. Uh, we fly, fly our asses off uh, when it's all over and everything will be fine. Stay safe and healthy. Bye. Mike McBrien here. I have one minute. I guess to uh, give you guys some words of encouragement, uh, you might recognize me from the TV show Ice Pilots or my YouTube show Plane Savers on my Mikey McRyan channel. Anyway, I can tell you some stuff. Everybody in the world is telling you stuff. I want to show you something. This aircraft right you here is turning 80 years old today. Yes, 1940, the first flight of the Curtis C-46. And while lots of airplanes in the world are grounded, the C-46, the Elder, is here uh, providing food for all the northern communities. So watch this and let this be your words of encouragement.